Hey everyone, it's been Driving School, we're back. If you're going to enter into the intersection whilst the light is green like this black vehicle here, you should must clear the intersection, okay? You should know when. By now it's too late. This should have been done two, three, four, five seconds ago. Make better decisions and better choices, folks. Get out of the intersections quicker and faster. Be more confident. You never follow cars in front of you, okay? And again, this is, I shouldn't say again, this is not me driving, this is my student. And then he was uh, asked to promptly reverse or rather made his own decision, but I did agree with it at, in this situation. But if you do it on the test, you can still fail. That's a red light, okay? That could have been pretty bad. What are we doing? No signal, just stopping in the middle of the intersection and then turning left or trying to do a U-turn or a three-point turn. I mean, nearly hitting me. It's Some of these uh, delivery drivers are just too dumb. Shabang. I have the right of way here. Come on. That's a risky move. It is a red light. You're entering on the red light, which is illegal, so you can get a ticket. It would fail. Luckily, the light turns green, and then you can still clear the intersection, but you still entered on the red, so not good. <sighs> Gave my student a heart attack. Folks. Man, some of these people, especially the last couple of weeks during the spring break, there was some crazy shit going on. U-turns into the gas station. Gas is on sale. This is, again, why you should be shoulder checking if you're making the right turn at most intersections. At least it's a good reason for it. You know, do I do it all the time? Of course not. Again, stopping in the middle of the road, you should be assessing the intersection before the stop line. Okay, looking for pedestrians, looking for cyclists, other cars, etc., etc. People first, cyclists, and then vehicles. That's the order of things when you're at a two way or four way stop sign. Look for people first. This is a very short green arrow, it seems like. I'm assuming this truck was going and then he wasn't. And then, you know, again, you can't see the, the, the lights that are obviously kind of up above behind me, but who knows what happened there again. Intersection's not clear. We'll just hang out. Ooh, could have been bad. This is why you always wait for the cars to blow through the yellow or the red light. Because not a lot of people slow down or stop. Turning to the wrong lane. This is obvious. Turning wide on purpose. Sometimes there's obstacles in the middle of the road that you can't see if you're following another car. That's why you should always keep your distance. Because the environment can get unpredictable really quickly. We have a first, for me at least, a U-turn by a cyclist in the middle of the intersection. Or at least I don't remember seeing one in recent years at least and you know the guy needs a belt but other than that things are copacetic this is what you should be doing this is exactly what should happen in this scenario and in this instance okay yield to z bus as it's the law 
It's just better and safer in most situations anyways. Unlike these fellas crossing over a double yellow line, this last car definitely was a little bit late. Don't go around buses when there's oncoming traffic. That's just stupid and it's illegal and dangerous. However, some bus drivers are just idiots like this guy pulls in and then pulls right out. Why? It's just very dangerous, but again, the law is on their side and they are a bigger vehicle. No one wants to hit them, so they just get a little frisky, risky. Like, wow, we stop like in the middle of the road, especially with a big ass truck like that. I mean, that's just so dumb and irresponsible. Burnaby's finest fire department busting U-turns in the middle of the road, or I guess that was a three-point turn in this case. Always keep your distance. Again, my student almost gave both of us a heart attack here. I had to slam on the brakes. Final destination moment. So keep your distance because you can't stop safely if you're tailgating. Some U-turns, double trouble. Another one. Especially in this intersection. Same intersection, just facing the other direction. I think this intersection takes the cake. And then we have one more here. This is a only green arrow turn, so that car just should not be in the middle. So I just knew right away he was probably going to do a U-turn. Kind of an unusual situation where the stop line is a lot further into the road. Um, so this is perfect example why the stop lines usually are where they are is to keep pedestrians safe and protect them from getting hit by cars, which sucks for visibility for vehicles, but it is what it is. Don't follow cars in front of you. So almost the same example as what my student was doing earlier. This time it's a vehicle up ahead of me and yeah, almost got clipped. Sometimes people just follow through because they're assuming it's a green arrow. Pay attention, scan, look. Look before you go, always. That's the number one rule. The Canadian Chicken Cobra. And folks, give them space, okay? Don't be a dick to the geese. Give them space. Stop a little bit earlier. Burnaby's finest. I'm not sure where this guy's turning left. Oh yeah, he's doing a U-turn, that's right. Smart moves. Why are we on the road? Like, do you need a sidewalk license or something? I mean, your kid's gonna grow up and kick you in the butt when they're 15 and they watch this video. We're still going to clear here. You have to be very decisive in these moments, but you still have a couple of seconds to clear the intersection. As long as the light stays green, of course. It's a terrible spot for a jaywalk. But unfortunately, in these situations, you know, sometimes you just do have to stop because it's safer for the pedestrian just to cross and stay in the middle of the road. Sometimes it's not. I mean, it's it's so confusing. Another Burnaby special. And another one here. Turning left, allegedly, but this car should be in the intersection clearly. So I'm assuming they missed the green arrow or they want to make a u-turn or a turn on the green arrow just on the green arrow for whatever reason not sure so we'll wait it out and it's a u-turn so another smart move 
by Burnaby's Finest. White BMW drivers are just amazing. Another kind of a shitty situation here. This guy's turning left. That's not a left turning lane. And he's lucky that second car there is not going straight. Could have been interesting. Just dumb moves all over the road. Last but not least, we have a little bit of a collision. Someone got re-rended, maybe hesitated on the left turn or didn't, or the car behind him just didn't pay attention. And that's what happens. So that's it. That's all. Stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.